New information tonight about the former Navy reservist who viciously gunned down 12 people at the Washington Navy Yard. Aaron Alexis had a long history of mental health issues, run-ins with the law, and military misconduct. So now, the gripping question, how did Alexis get and keep his government security clearance? Former LAPD homicide detective Mark Furman joins us. Want to take a stab at uh, th those two questions? How do you get it and how do you keep it? Well, I think it's obvious, Greta, when you have private contractors in a for-profit company uh, actually investigating and giving clearances for a uh, for-profit company, then uh, kind of bad things happen. Uh, you know, they're, they're paid for successful uh, investigations, not uh, failed ones or ones that take too long. I suspect that uh, these incidents, although that they were known, it was because that they weren't prosecuted, there was no trial, there was no conviction. But uh, I offer this up, let's use some common sense. This guy couldn't get a job at Disneyland with these two arrests for the use of a gun. You know, I don't know if these contractors have liabilities or what, the, I mean, um, immunity, I should say, from lawsuits. I don't know what Congress, what kind of deals Congress has set for the military when you have private contractors doing security screenings for the government, for private contracts. But I'll tell you, Mark, and I know that you're not a big fan of lawyers, but one, you know, one, uh, one successful lawsuit where someone has really failed and has a, has a civil liability um, and people have died, I'll tell you, that will put an end really fast to terrible uh, security checks where they are not thorough and, and people don't use common sense. That would end it. No, I agree, Greta, and I, and I think that that suit should come, and I think that the people responsible should be held, held responsible monetarily, if nothing else. Well, you look at this. Uh, you have this man applies for uh, any police department USA, and during the background, he has two arrests but no convictions for shooting, and then the investigation, the background investigation should take its natural course. You call Seattle Police Department, you talk to the officer that arrested him, did he say anything? What was his actions? What was the circumstances that's not on the report? That's a background investigation. He would have said, he told me he blacked out. So you got a guy that blacks out with a gun and shoots at a civilian's vehicle. This guy shouldn't have a job anywhere. How, how about the latest one? The, the latest report that we're hearing is that he was hearing voices, vibrations. Uh, you know, boy, if that's not a disqualifier that you're hearing voices uh, uh, for a security clearance for the government, I don't know what is. Well, yeah, Greta, and then you look at it. Did, uh, did the people that he actually uh, offered that uh, comment up or that they overheard him say, did, did that just happen yesterday? Did it happen the day before? Did it happen the week, the month? You know, there needs to be a little courage with friends, family, associates, uh, administrators, bosses to step forward and say, this guy is, is not right. He's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. There's something going sideways with him. You have to be able to say that. Everybody's afraid of being sued or reprimanded because they do their job. And that's the biggest problem right there. No leadership. I, I'll tell you another thing, too, is that, you know, if you've been listening to the show tonight about all these sort of government contracts where cost overruns and, and how much money is wasted, I mean, there's an awful lot of racket. This is a big racket about, and, and when you see products like like uh, the product where you have someone like Aaron Alexis with the security clearance, if, if it was a contractor uh, subcontracting to someone else to do this, I mean, you know, someone's got to clean up this government contract business someplace, sometime. Well... Absolutely, Greta. And if this guy slipped through with all these red flags, two arrests with a gun, he's got mental issues. He ex he's expressed uh, PTSD to his father. Uh, he's got uh, issues with getting kicked out of the Navy on a general discharge. If this guy gets a secret clearance, who do they refuse? I mean, I really, who do they refuse? People that are in prison? I, I just really don't know. This guy was prime to be refused a security clearance. And in fact, Hewlett Packard should be held responsible and they should be the source of the first suit that once you knew this, why did you even hire this guy and offer him up for a secret clearance? Unbelievable. Anyway, um, Mark, thank you. Always nice to see you. Thanks, Greta.